Aloha out there, everybody, and welcome to the Stream My Pod podcast. Stream it. I like that. Do that again. Stream it. There it is. <laughs> we may have to run that more often. That's a nice little sound bite. But this is the podcast where we talk about television, Hulu, Netflix, Amazon Prime, YouTube, anything you can stream out there. Fucking all of them. All of them. And what are you going to do? Stream it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so we're going to start out with our Netflix. And I was told last week that how the hell can we talk about Netflix without talking about the movie they have on there called The Highwaymen, which who, is. Uh, who told you that? My old man told me that. Oh. Called me up, called me out, said, hey, this Highwaymen about them catching Bonnie and Clyde. It's with Kevin Costner and Woody Harrelson. Kathy Bates is in it. He said it's a pretty good watch. And online, they're giving it a little bit over a seven out of 10 so that's a pretty good score yeah i'm gonna definitely check it out i are you into Costner those types of guy. movies guys like kind of the older and westerny feel oh yeah i mean anything with woody harrelson in it you know it's good woody harrelson's freaking best yeah and you mentioned westworld and stuff so it's probably similar genre yeah something along those lines but hey any movie where there's a crime famous drama famous outlaw hey that people are looking for Bonnie and Clyde, the famous of the famous. Yeah. It's got a hell of a cast, so I'm definitely going to have to check it out. And uh, There you go. Two-hour flick, so set some time aside. Yeah. One of those nights where I'm just sit, sitting on my ass. Definitely have to watch that. All right. Well, what have you watched, or what are you checking out here nowadays on Netflix? Well, I have been waiting for this one coming out May 3rd. Okay. A couple of weeks. It's called... Uh, Movie about Ted Bundy. Oh, okay. And Zach Efron is playing Ted Bundy. Yeah, it looks fucked, man. It looks fucked up. And I really want to see him as sort of a villain and not high school musical Zach Efron. <laughs> and I mean, the Getting guy. Get out of his comfort zone here a little bit. It's called Extremely Wicked, Shockingly Evil, and Vile. Oh, short name. So. That's a hell of a name right there. That's like Shield. You should come up with something better than that. <laughs> yeah, right. It's uh, it's got Zach Efron. It's got Phil Collins' his daughter, who was in The Blind Side. Oh, okay, um, Phil. She's gonna be in it. Should be interesting because she plays his wife, and I know he had a wife. Yeah, that's one that everybody's probably gonna be talking about. That's gonna make you feel a little fucked up inside. So we better watch it before, right when it comes out. That's it, and get to you guys here get on the, the stream. My instant pod. reaction to. Oh it. man, maybe we could watch it. And video us watching it. There you go. Like, what the fuck? Like the two girls, one cup. With the- oh, God. <laughs> now you're going back, man. Other than that, I uh, caught up on New Girl, the latest season. Yeah, I saw season seven came out. We are definitely fans of New Girl. Uh, Nick Coach. Miller, hilarious. Coach. Schmidt. Yeah, Schmidt. Phenomenal character in this season. He Winston. grows the mustache. Oh, yeah. Which is great. Shave it off. Who let you do that? You look ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I think him and uh, the new girl actually get married in this season. It was an if interesting I remember. way to close the season because they fast forwarded it. Spoiler three years. alert, Pags. What they well, do? Everyone knew that they went three years ahead. Okay. And I didn't know where you're you were the going. one that went with that. They got married. I didn't know where you were going. <laughs> it's interesting because they bring back all the f- people that you remember from all the uh, sure. episodes. Wasn't their funniest season? I think their sweet spot was seasons four and five when Coach came back. Yeah, it's a good one. Oh, that was gold. That watching is funny. Him on there, but um, they ended it pretty well, and it's not the best of all endings. But it's hard when you have seven seasons trying to <laughs> wrap a, something up and make everybody line. happy. It's crazy. So another thing I've been watching on Netflix is Patriot Act, which is a kind of a comedy news by Hassan Minaj, who is a comedian. And he essentially does like 20 to 30 minute episodes on all different issues that are going on in the world, such as student loans, uh, drug prices, civil rights under Trump, hip hop and streaming, civil rights in different parts of the world, immigration, uh, oil, Amazon, things like that. And there's a lot of interesting tidbits in there uh, that you learn, like on Amazon specifically, dude, they don't make any money on Amazon.com selling all of their goods. They've actually run in the red as a company for a couple of years on that side of the business. Yeah. And where they make their money is actually Amazon Web Services, AWS. You ever seen that? Yeah. StatCast brought to you by AWS. AWS. So essentially what that is is they hold the servers 
that all of the large companies like Google, Facebook put all of their information on. Right. They use essentially like their internet storage. They run that shit. So they make billions of dollars on that and none on the product side. And the double-edged sword with Amazon is if you sell a product, A, in order to sell a product, you have to sell on Amazon because us as consumers buy everything on Amazon. Right. Well, what Amazon does, if you're a top seller, they essentially, because you sell through them, are able to look at your product and then they create your product and sell it as Amazon's for cheaper. And then people end up buying cheaper Amazon. Like these XLR cords I have for our microphones, Amazon Prime, baby. <laughs> a couple bucks cheaper. So whoever's making them on the side has to sell them through Amazon. And yet when you do and you're successful, they take your shit and essentially bleed you dry. Right. Yeah, I have a uh, buddy. His uh, brother sells space for Amazon. And that's basically he's going around selling server space for people to put their shit on Amazon. It's, it's a wild crazy. scene, man, but that's where they're making their big bucks. Everybody thinks, oh, they sell everything. They make money. No, they actually bleed there in order to monopolize the market because, hey, what's everybody buying? Okay, we'll make that, and soon everybody else won't be in business. Right. That's it's crazy, man. Crazy, so man. check it out. There's a lot of that shit. I know a lot of our listeners have student loans. It gets into that whole ordeal, and it's kind of informational and yet funny at the same time. It's well, a good little mix. About, you talk about the Wild West and that highwayman shit. This is – the new age wild west where these fucking big companies are just doing what they want killing everybody else it's that's crazy it. that's it man so did you have anything else that uh, you're checking out or want our listeners to check out no i mean i just uh i have some shit coming up in the near future um i do want to check out that twilight zone coming out on i think it's hulu that one actually is cbs CBS. CBS All Access, it looks like here. So I don't know if that's on television or on like the CBS I app. If but... That's like edited and if there's profanity and shit like that. And it, I know uh, Seth Rogen's in it. Yeah, Adam Scott from uh, Step Brothers and uh, Parks and Recreations in it. Written by Jordan Peele, a guy that. Uh, so that should be a good one. Peele and he did that Get Out movie that everybody loved. So it's going to be freaky. You can know, you know that with him doing these movies, he's kind of get stepped into the horror genre, but also with a back a little meaning to it. So it should be interesting. Nice. And the last one we'll leave you on is season three of Brock Myers. A couple of episodes in here. I've been checking those out, streaming those. They're hilarious as always. Hank and Zari is back as his baseball announcer, and he's better than ever. And just some of the jokes and shit, man. It is next level. So if you have kids or you're not into that kind of darker comedy, may not be for you, but a lot of us out there raised on the Family Guys and South Parks, it's right up that alley. And they added J.K. Simmons this year, who is absolutely hilarious. So if you want to check that out, that's on IFC. You can look back, watch a few seasons. Season three is in full force right now, but that's what's going on around the uh, streaming world and the internet and uh, you know all your us. services. At least for us, let us know what we should be checking out. We'll do that. We'll let you guys know how it is. But until that, make sure you guys stream it. That's it. We'll see you.